I am not that smart. My name is Amon. In college, I landed six high paying software engineer internships at companies like Amazon, Shopify, and HP. And after I graduated college, I was able to turn those internships into multiple six figure job offers at age 22. And when people hear that, they always assume that. I was some kind of genius who came out of the womb solving leak code hards and getting dozens of referrals at the same time. But that could not be farther from the truth. See, this video is going to crack your worldview open because, spoiler alert, most people who get jobs in tech are in no way, shape, or form smarter than you. And many, in fact, are even dumber than you. Let me tell you something. In high school, I actually failed the APCS exam. I have literally got a 1 out of 5. To be fair, I was 15 years old, I didn't even take the class, I kind of just walked in and tried it. Yet years later, I had multiple software engineering internships on my resume. And I was able to leverage those into getting multiple full-time job offers. Let's be honest, I am definitely not innately smarter than you in any way, shape, or form. And in fact, surprisingly, I'm actually dumber than most of my friends, at least in the world of software engineering. In this video, I'm going to explain how dumb people consistently get job offers in software engineering, why me and all of these people you see on screen right now are probably not smarter than you, and the fundamental reason why you still can't get a job, even though your computer science and software engineering skills are already good enough. But before I answer those questions, you need to understand Peter Thiel's value paradox. This idea is going to change the way you see the world. Let me tell you about Peter Thiel. Most of you guys already know him as the co-founder of PayPal, early Facebook investor, and founder of Palantir. But in 2012, he gave this legendary series of lectures at Stanford about startups and innovation. These lectures would later turn into his best-selling book, Zero to One. Now, in one of those lectures, Thiel poses the mind-bending question that completely changes the way I see business and careers. His question was, why is Google worth more than the entire US airline industry combined? That seems completely random, but stick with me here. Back in 2012, all of the US airlines combined had a total revenue of $200 billion. Google? Just 50 billion. But here's where it gets crazy. See, all of those airlines had a total market cap of $112 billion. But what was Google's? $393 billion. Google did a quarter of the revenues of the entire airline industry, yet was worth three times as much. And when you think about it, this makes no sense. Air travel as a whole is arguably way more valuable to society than a single search engine. The airline industry literally connects the entire world. It enables global commerce, family reunions, and business travel. It's fundamental to how our modern world works. So how can one company doing one thing be worth so much more? This is Teal's value paradox, and it's going to completely change the way you see getting jobs in tech. See, fundamentally, there are two parts to any business. The value you create and the value you capture. Okay, let's pause here. You're probably thinking, I'm on cool story about Google and Peter Thiel, but what the hell does this have to do with me getting a software engineering job? It has everything to do with that. Let me explain. When a company hires you as a software engineer and pays you, for example, $100,000 per year, you know what they're actually making off your work? $500,000 to a $1 million per year. That's not an exaggeration. That's the average. Companies like Google and Meta and Microsoft probably make even more. Whatever they pay you, they're taking home five to 10 times as much in value. Think about that asymmetry for a second. You're technically creating $500,000 to a million dollars of value for these companies, and they give you a measly $100,000. And you still can't find a job. This is the value paradox applied to the world of tech. And this is the fundamental mistake. This is where you're messing up. You think, oh, I need to learn more Python, build more projects, get my programming skills up, and once I'm great at software engineering, I'll magically have a job offer. But that's only half the equation. That's just value creation. We're completely leaving out value capture. And this is where I I need to tell you something that's going to be hard to hear. Tons of people have the engineering background, they have the skills, and they have the capability to give a tech company tons of value, but they don't have the career networking and value capture skills to capture that value, actually get a software engineering job and get paid. Let me be very honest with you. There were so many people in my CS program who were better programmers than me. I knew people who could solve leak code hards in their sleep while I was struggling with easies. There were people who had been coding since the age of 12 who had internalized computer science concepts in a way I could only dream of. But here's the thing, a lot of those same people are still struggling to land interviews at top companies. Some of them are working at companies earning half of what they could be making. Others are even stuck at positions way below their level. Why? Because they made the fundamental mistake 
of thinking that their engineering skills were enough. They put all of their effort into value creation, but completely neglected value capture. They never learned how to play the game. So let's break this down into an actual framework that you can use. Picture two buckets. Bucket number one is value creation, what you actually contribute to a company. This is your knowledge of Python, Java, or whatever languages you know. It's your understanding of computer architecture and operating systems. Your full stack development skills, your actual coding ability, your system design knowledge, your ability to solve technical problems, and your project portfolio. Just to name a few things that fall into this category. And most people, they stop here. They throw their hands up in the air and say, Aman, I have all of these things. Why don't I have a job in tech? Because you're neglecting bucket two, value capture. Here are some things that belong in that category, the category of playing the game. Your resume and how you present your experiences, your interview skills and how you tell your story, your lead code strategy and preparation approach, your networking abilities and professional relationships, the ability to sell yourself and your skills, your negotiation skills and your ability to negotiate a bonus, and your personal brand and online presence. Most people I see that are struggling to land a software engineering job today are dumping everything into bucket one. They're learning their fifth programming language while they can't even get past the resume screen. They're building complex projects that no one will ever see because they don't know how to present them. That's like being the world's greatest home chef, but never actually knowing how to get a job at a restaurant. Now, don't get me wrong. Value creation is definitely important. And if you don't have any of these skills in the value creation category, you still won't get a job. But too many people overvalue value creation and undervalue value capture. Now, I'm gonna give you the truth about YouTube's biggest tech names, people you probably watch every single day. This is the dark truth about Clement Mihailescu, Joma Tech, Pooja Dut, Sajad Khadr, Naman Kapoor, Rahul Pandey, A Life Engineered, Frying Pan, Neat Code, and yes, even me. The dark truth is that, of course, all of these people are talented engineers who are great at software engineering and have landed amazing job offers. Make no mistake. And you should take their advice because it's worth listening to. They've done the work and they can show it. But here's the secret that no one talks about. None of us are actually the greatest engineers that have ever lived. Think about it. We spend 20 hours a week opining about the software engineering industry on YouTube. We spend half our time filming and making content. You think if we were spending that much time filming, talking about the software engineering industry online, we would be the greatest engineers ever? The best engineers out there spend 100% of their time on engineering and 0% sharing their knowledge. You've probably never even heard their names. The people who are number one in the tech industry spend all their time locked in on coding, so you've never even seen them anywhere. Because they never talk about it, they just code more. See, what all of us are really good at is we're great at playing the game. We understand value creation, yes, but we also understand value capture. Now I know what some of you are thinking. Amon, that's so unfair. Shouldn't technical skills be enough? Look, I get it. In an ideal world, maybe it would be. But remember Teal's value paradox. Creating value is only half the equation. You can be the most skilled developer in the world, but if you can't communicate that value effectively, you can't get in front of the right people. If you can't navigate the hiring process, you will never get that high paying job at a company you want. So the answer is simple. You have to spend serious time on the hiring process itself. Most likely, if you're struggling to land a software engineering job or internship, that's your issue. Stop worrying about building projects, contributing to open source, doing random Udemy courses. Until you have an amazing resume, your lead code skills are in tip top shape, you're getting dozens of referrals, and you have incredible interview skills. Now, of course, you can do all of that on your own, but if you want my help with completely rewriting your resume from scratch, helping you generate 20 to 30 referrals a month, running you through eight live interviews, in helping you navigate this entire process, I actually run a school for people who want to land a software engineering job or internship in the next three to six months. It's called a Software Engineering Accelerator. And if anything I've said so far resonates with you, click the top link in the description and submit an application. My team and I would love to talk with you. Now that you know that value capture is the key to landing an amazing software engineering job, if you're interested in seeing the resume that got me dozens of software engineering interviews, you can click on this video up here. And if you're interested in getting amazing at LeetCode in 2025, you can click on this video down here. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next video.